All right, so this is this problem, power, energy, and circuits. This one, very annoying, but basically, you know, gives you so much information, gives you some EMF, uh, you know, voltage, a little internal resistance thing, gives you some energy in kilojoules, gives you uh, current in amperes. First question I ask you is, which of the diagrams best represents this situation? So here are the diagrams. But the answer is A. So if you're doing this, the answer is A. And this is the description it actually gives in the um, homework once you get the answer right. Uh, measures flowing through a circuit and must be connected in series. And this is the only one that's connected in series because these are all in parallel. So that's the only different one. But that, yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> Great. Um, so B is then say you have this voltage from A to B potential difference across this resistance with R, P is the power, it tells you all these things. And then it just asks, which of the quantities shown below are defined in the circuit? So the way they phrase it makes it sound like it wants to know which of all of these quantities, including the ones they mentioned, like resistance and power and energy and all of those things, can you find? That's not what it wants to know. It literally only wants to know the given things, which is resistance internal, that funky E, not energy. Uh, I as in current and the energy actually you have to keep up. So the 0 0.07, the 10 volts, the 10 amperes, and the 100 kilojoules. This is the answer. Even though it mentions all these other things, it doesn't even want to know what you can find. It only is asking you what is straight up given in the problem. So it's these. And then C. Neglecting heat losses in the system, what is the amount of time T will take the boil? Uh, will take it will take to boil in the cup. So we're going to use this nice equation of P equals E over T, uh, and P in this case is power, not uh, resistivity, because there are two P's. T is of course time, and E equals energy. Main thing is P. Just know that this is the power P and not the resistivity P. You can easily rearrange this to get E over P, and you are solving for time, so that helps. So you give you E, you do have to find P, and these are the things you have that are E size. So you need to find an equation for P with those variables, and there is one that looks like this. So this is so this equation is what we're going to use. So P equals 10 times 10 minus 10 squared times 0 0.07. You go ahead and solve that out and you get 93 with 100 minus 7. So then you can easily do T equals 100 kilojoules, so times 10 to the third over 93, and you're going to get 1075.2 seconds. And they wanted it in minutes, so 17.9 minutes. Okay, for D, it is saying now all the energy in the coil is dissipated as heat. Um, no, not all. Energy in the coil is dissipated as heat. Uh, it gives you some information. And then it says not all the energy in the circuit is dissipated by the coil. Because the EMF has this internal resistance, which it tells you R int, energy is also dissipated by the battery. Calculate the rate of dissipation in the energy. P battery. So, thing to remember for part D is it only wants the energy dissipated in the battery. Battery only, not the coil. So, they give you this R int, and that is for the battery. Now, the big R they mentioned is for the coil. So, you don't have to find this it's not what they want. You'd only have to look at this one. And then you have that very simple equation, P equals current squared times R. In this case, the R is that. Even though it's a big R in the equation, it is the little R in this case because we're only looking at the battery. And R internal is literally, as it states, the battery. So it makes it super simple. And you get 7 watts. Um, I think this one might be the one that says to three significant figures, and in that case, it doesn't matter. You can literally type seven, and you're fine. Don't let that throw you off like it did to me. And don't try doing all the difficult work to find big R. It's literally just the internal if feeling with the battery. If it was asking for the coil, 
then you would have to find R. It's only asking for battery, so just use the one it gives you.